summer term, we will track Ruth, aged 11, and Beverly, 5, who have recently arrived from the Philippines with their families. They are starting at a primary school in Shropshire. We've got two new arrivals in school uh, from the Philippines. Uh, their parents contacted me about two months before they wanted the children to come to England. The parents are working in a residential home in Minsterley and they wanted their children to come to England and to join our school. The teachers realised after the first week that the girls are understandably very homesick. The school's main focus, therefore, will be to allow them time to adjust to life in the UK. I'm thinking that Beverly won't agree that I'm going to leave her on her first day, but she's all right. I said, are you all right? You can leave me now. Yeah, he <laughs> said, yeah, I'm all right. Uh, because he, he, if she gets a playmate, she's all right. Even she don't, she don't know anybody there. Our dream is uh, to finish their studies and to be... A, a, to be somebody in the near future, so may mahirap ang buhay. Lahat ng nahirapan na naranasan namin, hirap, gusto ko ayok ipadama sa mga anak ko. Morning. Morning. Bye-bye. Unang-una po kasi dito para pong mas malaki school nila. Tapos po, mas high-tech po yung uh, ginagamit po nila dito. Tapos po yung mga estudyante dito, unti lang po mga 25. Ruth's used to classes of up to 50 pupils. The school knows that class size here will allow time for the girls' transition. Now, we're going to go into assembly. And we're going to do this quietly. Para pong speechless po pag nung anang dating ko po dito. Samantala pong dun sa Filipinas, ang gulo-gulo ko po. Ruth's arrival has coincided with the SATs, so the schools decided to put her in a year five, not a year six class. This should help her settle in and give the school time to assess her level of learning. One of the worries that we might have is that in the children trying to learn English very quickly, they're then getting behind in the level of their learning. So we're trying to make sure they're learning as much as we can in a language that they understand. But what we have found with both of them is that they're both very bright girls and uh, they're picking things up very, very quickly already in the few days that they've been with us. before running back to the kitchen. There, instead of going back to his hiding place... Having a go at a hymn is fine, but understanding the moral of a story told in English is obviously more challenging for the girls. In reception, lessons are not as literacy dependent, so it's a lot easier for Beverly to feel part of the class. <laughs> Ruth has a far more challenging start to her science investigation lesson. Runaway car crash drama. What do you think it's about? A car crash. You've got it in one. It's about a car crash. David Willis, 71 of Trelawney Road, said he acted on pure instinct when he deliberately drove through bollards to warn people he could not stop. Ruth is used to a more formal textbook approach, so it's difficult for her to take part in the regular open-ended discussion and classroom exchanges. Ah, it might slow down. But this might give us a clue as to what we're doing this morning. You're the first person I noticed when we came in from Wake Up Shanker that was that beautifully. 
Teachers ensure that the girls are naturally included in all class routines. Since the children have arrived, we've actually found that their, their language skills are better than we initially expected. Certainly Ruth, who's in year six, can understand. But um, because she's quite shy anyway, it's very difficult to assess whether it's the shyness that's stopping her speaking uh, or whether it's just the fact that she has difficulty speaking at all. We've got a problem. George. You need to go drop the washers down. Drop the washers down? Put the um, thing on the car and then drop them down. When Ruth came to look around, she was very nervous and she was very shy. And I remember the head teacher saying, said to her, well, would you like to just say something before you go? And she said, the school is very beautiful. And that was about all that we could get out of her. How can we make a car? So that's a good investigation. Break time brings a chance for Beverly and Ruth to talk in their main home language, Tagalog. Nearly 200 languages are spoken in the Philippines. Fortunately for the girls, their families speak the same one. What we need to do, Kim, is to establish which of the lessons that Ruth will be joining your class for. Because at the moment, obviously, she's with Tony uh, with the year fives. But once the sats are out of the way, we need her to be spending as much time in your class as we possibly can so that she gets used to being with her peer group that she'll be going to the secondary school with. Right. So what can we do? Well, we've got swimming after okay. sats. There's sex education. There's our residential visit at the end of the year. That's right. I've already spoken with parents about that. They're keen for her to go along. Are they? And that would be a really good bonding exercise yeah. for her. And I think so she'd that's... need to sort of know me before she comes away for a oh, week yes. with me, <laughs> yeah. which would be important for her as well. Yeah. All right. Okay, that's good. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks. Their very first problem is uh, they have no friends here. They cannot uh, approach the, the other students, the other classmates, because they cannot speak English well. It's hard for them to express themselves yeah. because they cannot communicate very well. And mm. they are confused yeah. uh, if are they they speak uh, well or uh, others could understand them or not if they are going to speak in English. It's <laughs> Bata po dito, hospitable po gano. They are so friendly. Hello. Hello. That's it. Hi, Brother. Oh, pleased to meet you. Pleased to meet you. Would you like to sign in for us? Certainly. Initially, I contacted the Shropshire Multicultural Development Service and asked for advice and support. And they said that as soon as the children start school, they will be able to come out and, and perform an assessment with the children just to find out exactly what their levels of English were. Of course. So that would be support probably in the Marion yes. begins her assessment by sharing some stories in Ruth's home language. She then begins a written observation during the science lesson group work. The speed of the conversations and the local accent make practical group work the most challenging environment Ruth has faced. But teacher Tony Davis will make sure she has a chance to contribute. It would, it would act like speed bumps to make it slow down. For Beverly, the regular literacy strategies are an ideal way to pick up English. You like icing. Do you like cake, Beverly? No. You don't like cake? What do you like? 
like rice. Do you like rice? Yeah. So you say, I eat rice. And I say, I eat cake. They're both uh, lovely girls and they're obviously really well settled into the school. I'm really quite amazed, particularly with Beverly in the reception class. Coming in at reception is always much more advantageous than coming in at year six because there's so much, so many key visuals around the classroom and so much practical work. Ruth actually said quite a compound sentence to me about science in the Philippines that uh, she hasn't experienced practical work in a group like that very much but they had done some experiments mostly with electronics was her her actual phrase but what I liked uh, was both children are working in groups with uh, pupils who can provide an excellent role model of spoken English they've not been put with the special needs the lower ability group which sometimes is the case and we we have to actually actively promote that these mm -hmm. children although they have less oral language they are intelligent children they've pr probably done this curriculum but in their home language Ruth you, you had a very good idea what's your idea big heavy stones to go into the car it sounds a good idea doesn't it Double it's stones. really good to oh, set up like a home link book where messages can be written down that perhaps the other children will have just had orally, but the, the children may not have actually understood them correctly. So With the assessment complete, Marion recommends that a specialist support teacher will come in once a week. Ruth, what else does the ramp do? It could be that Ruth doesn't understand the lesson, her shyness, or simply the lack of vocabulary that prevent her answering the question. OK, anything else? And we put the two pencils on the car. This is the main problem for any teacher to discern. Favourite subject, Medito? Matpo. Ano yan? Anong favorite mo? Ano po, binulong niya lang po sa akin matto. So sabi, sabi niya, sabi ko na kabay. <laughs> Do you know the letter's name? I? J. It's the sound of J. The school's policy so far has been to prioritise their social needs, settle the girls in, make constructive homeschool links and plan from there. In part two, we return at the end of term to see how and whether things have changed for Ruth and Beverly.